just started filming and now it sounds like a storm has begun outside and the whole of London is kicking off. It is stressful in the big city. Isn't it so stressful? Yes, it's so stressful even for me. Okay. I'm gonna film this even if it kills me. Um, this is actually a letter opener, so worry not. Yes indeedy, we are ready to film. Hello everyone. I'm so happy to be back. I think it's been just over a year now since I started this channel, but I had to take some time out. Um, I got super burnt out and as it turns out, I think I've said out too many times already, I have autism and it's taken a little while to digest it. But it's also been the gift that's meant that I've been able to help myself get slowly out of burnout and feel some creativity return for the first time in my adult life. So thank you so much to those of you who stuck around. I think I'm figuring things out at last. So I've been thinking a lot about going forward on this channel and the type of stuff I'd like to share what's my place here and what's my place in the wider world and I think this topic around recovery is so relevant to all of us no matter what our walk of life no matter what we feel we're recovering from a difficult end to a relationship it could be school life itself living in the city or living rurally and loneliness or you know, navigating friendships, there's always something that causes day-to-day -day stress. So starting from this video, I'm going to share how I find happiness in the day-to-day. -day. Especially right now, since I'm still living in London, which is one of the most hectic cities in the world, though compared to some, maybe not. I'm sure there's others that are even louder and more overwhelming but London is definitely up there and I've learned some pretty big lessons of recent in all areas of life and I've also really learned how to appreciate the small things and find happiness from things that I would have completely overlooked in you know the rest of my adult life I think I've even come up with some little life philosophies along the way and rather than just sharing them with my closest friends because I do really only have very few close friends um, that I hold dear um, I thought this platform is really powerful and why not see if it could help some other people as well so yes I'm sitting here today nursing this cup of tea that was sent to me from my mum, who I've also managed to rekindle, reconnect a most beautiful friendship with. And she sends me these little um, packages of random teas and, and things, which I, I never used to appreciate. I used to think, oh, why do you have to be such a hippie? Or why do you have to, send such strange things or why you know why can't you be more normal or oh man it's a bit upsetting to think actually because i am really really lucky naturally my phone was in the fruit bowl because that's where phones live apparently let's see if my mum wants to answer Hey mama, what are you doing? Hey, yeah, no, 
mysigt. Ja. Jag är från full med dig. Ja, jättemysigt. Jag... Eh... Är ni hemma? Ja, vi är hemma. Jag filmar lite faktiskt just nu. Asså? Yeah. Ja, filma mig nu då. Ja, det gör jag faktiskt. And that's what I'm going to focus on, is that I am lucky and I have immense gratitude for not only her, but for a million other small intricacies in life. And if you were to go back and look at some of the past videos of me, you'll probably see a, a version of me, but a very different version of me. Um, and I'm, re I'm learning to find peace and acceptance within myself and it's a steady it's a steady journey steady progress and one that I would really like to share so I have been filming little bits and bobs um, I invested in a second-hand camera because my iPhone's on its last legs the actual phone camera fell out of the back I had to sell it take it back on don't know if no, it's not here. Um, I managed to find a second-hand tripod on Facebook Marketplace for a price that I could afford to invest and um, a memory card and a couple spare batteries and so I've taken myself out and filmed some things that have brought me happiness and that have made me feel like life is worth living again even though there is stress. In, in daily life. There are things we can't control but there's so much that we can and so I really hope that you find some joy in these moments just like I have. A couple channels on YouTube that I have found so healing and so invigorating, inspiring, um, joyful is um, first of all, Jonna uh, Jinton. I think in English you would say Jonna Jinton. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> I don't know. But her videography is incredible, um, and she's really brought me so much joy because I, for those of you who don't know, I am from Sweden originally, and I have been reconnecting with my roots, um, not just through you know chatting with my mum on the phone most days but just in, in any way I can find really because Sweden is such a beautiful country but I have just felt really disconnected from myself let alone my roots for a long time so I'm really enjoying her channel. Another channel for those of you who like something a bit more whimsical and calming, The Cottage Fairy is an amazing channel and actually by chance today I had a beautiful package arrive from her she's also an artiste and I really believe in this whole thing around hmm how do I put it oh the sirens are back ah, we're gonna push on I really believe in this whole thing about It really has been non-stop today. Oh my goodness. I believe in this whole thing about giving and receiving. That it's really good to support the things that we believe in and to support good causes and to give where we can, however little we can. Whether that's time, whether that's, you know, buying a copy of the big issue to help homelessness, um, you know, big or small, whatever our resources, I think it's really important to support and to give back in order to receive. And it's not just to give to receive, but I just think that life is about balance. And so if we do find beauty in something, then why not give the gift of either purchasing something from a small artist or just sending a little, a little note of gratitude to say, hey, I find your work really amazing and inspirational. Just like so many of you have done for my um, YouTube channel, your comments are kind of what have inspired me to even come back and start filming again because I was thinking for a long time, you know, do I really belong here? I don't know, it's been, it's been a bit of a journey. But so basically I bought a print of one of her works, which was 
this by the beautiful Paola. I just think there's something really magic about this. And I would never have been drawn to this even a year ago because I was really quite closed off to anything that resembled magic or, yeah, I don't know, maybe there is something more to life. Like life in the here and now was too stressful to even imagine that, yeah, that you can be playful as an adult, that you can, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I just, I just think that it's little things like this, and this has come all the way from America. It's little, little gifts like this, even though I bought it for myself, I know that it's meant a lot to her to support her work. And receiving this through my daughter, they put a huge smile on my face. And there's something in that. The whole giving, receiving, sharing love. And, I, and I've been trying to, not even trying, well, to start with it is trying, but being more myself and even smiling more at strangers and daring to have that little moment of connection and people start to smile back in a way that never really used to happen before. I hope you'll join me out and about what I call the London countryside um, and see what I've been getting up to and what's brought me joy this week. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. It's not easy, it's not, it's not easy getting back into this. I have to say, it does not come naturally to start. I think I have faffed about more than I have filmed just now, trying to set this up, and Tony's looking at me like, are you, are you gonna do this, or? <laughs> yes. Let's do this. Take me to the river. Drop me in the water I am sitting at this bar trying to forget All the fun we used to have dreams I pick you up I just want Check this guy out I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful slug in my whole life <laughs> If anyone can tell me what sort of slug this is I would be much appreciative So beautiful So deep in you I'm blinded by your bittersweet sound We have our adventures, all the waterfalls and the wild waters, hanging off the cliffs, counting all the shadows, and now we're in the shadows. I want to feel your blue.
the book too. As they are. Without cooking them. Quite nice actually. I think they'd be alright in the salad. It may have come to the end of its life. Oh, pop it amongst the flowers. So I've just been editing uh, this video and I thought instead of doing the little outro bit uh, indoors I would come outside in some nature whilst the sun is shining and the crickets are cricketing. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, from doing this video I've realised that I do also need to invest in a microphone for the camera because the sound quality isn't where I want it to be and I know that there is uh, quite a bit of disturbance so apologies but it will get better as we go. I had a, I had a thought in the shower this morning. <laughs> I quickly uh, had to run out in my towel and write it down. There, there really is so much good in this world if we just start to look for it and it really is a matter of perception. As much as we've been trained to not believe that we have much power over our own mindset and well-being, we really do have much more power than we realise if we just learn to switch off a little bit from all of the negativity that gets thrown our way. And that's something that I've been practising now for especially the last six months, but since I quit drinking and started to make some better choices for myself. And I know that uh, a lot of people, on my channel especially, who've been looking for, well, some comfort, some advice here and there perhaps, and just how to feel better, especially around the area of, you know, drinking less or quitting drinking. Many believe that they are somehow cursed or that they have bad luck and that it's never going to change for them because that's just the hand that they've been drawn. I don't believe that's true and let me put it this way if you believe in bad luck then you must also believe in magic think about that for a minute bad luck is not something that can be seen it's not something tangible in fact I think bad luck is something that we honestly sort of make ourselves so therefore if you believe in something that you can't see that's as airy-fairy as bad luck or uh, I'm just a down-and-out person and that's it. Well, then you must believe in the other side as well. Because what makes one more real than the other? I love that. Look at me, little philosopher. <laughs> I'm sitting in my local park right now uh, in an area that is almost a bit like a nature reserve and I live in relatively central London. So it just goes to show that if we start to look, we will find, we will find beauty. There is peace wherever we are. There is a plane flying overhead, <laughs> but that too shall pass. So I really wanted to share that bit of positivity that if you dare to think so much and believe in the negative, and it's got you to where you are now, which maybe you're not feeling great, 
flip it on its head and start to practice thinking a little more positively, having a little bit of self-belief because I believe in you as much as I believe in me. And you've seen the changes in me across the past year on this channel. And I really hope that from my heart to yours, that something in this video touches you and connects and helps you to feel a little bit better about life, about yourself, about today. There's so much beauty here. Just gotta work a little bit harder at finding it sometimes. So friends, get yourselves outside. Find some nature. There's so much grey, but there's also so much colour. I love you so much. I have so much love and time for us all. Until next time. See you soon, friends. Your time.